Hi everyone. Um, I really miss um, all of my students and I just want to say hello. I'm going to give you guys a quick tutorial on how to do the 3D cardboard glasses assignment that I just put up. Um, this will be the one uh, big project that we have for the rest of the marking period. Um, and it's really easy and I think you guys will enjoy it. One of the projects that I had planned to do with my seventh grade 3D art class this year was to make some um, designer glasses frames with 3D pens. And obviously we can't do that now because we're not in school. But I came up with a variation of this project um, using cardboard. Um, I have a few examples that I wanted to show you that um, you can see because I had my kids do this project with me. I actually like the way theirs came out better than mine, but I'm going to show you. This one is my daughter's. We made these out of cardboard. She made a tree design with her glasses. Um, and then my son made this pair. And it is themed off of Minecraft. I don't know if you can see. He's got some sheep on the side. Um, and we use um, marker and paint and colored pencil for theirs. I tried to be a little fancy with the ones that I was playing around with. And I wrapped mine in aluminum foil and used some Sharpie and put some beads on there. But really, you can use any materials that you have available. I'm going to uh, use cardboard. And you can get the cardboard um, from any type of box, like a cereal box, a tissue box. Um, and I'm going to show you just how to make it. It's really easy. And then any materials you have around the house, whether it's colored pencil, marker, crayon, if you have paint, if you want to try foil, you can wrap it with cloth or fabric. You can wrap it with yarn. You can hot glue things on it like beads, whatever. You can just be as creative as you want. But I'm going to give you a basic start on how to do the project so that you can do this at home. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is to plan out what you're going to do to make your designer glasses. Um, just like we've done in other projects like the plaster shoe, I want you to come up with an idea that's unique in your own that kind of represents who you are. I'm putting up a picture of my son's um, Minecraft design. He drew it on a piece of white paper first just to get your idea going. And then once you've done that, you're going to want to find a piece of cardboard. I just got like the back of a tissue box um, that I'm going to use for my cardboard. But if you got a cereal box or any kind of cardboard laying around, um, you can use that. Um, it's easier to cut out if the cardboard's a little bit thinner. But whatever cardboard you have, just get a piece that's big enough um, to make a pair of eyeglasses. So after you have your cardboard, the next thing you're going to want to do is to find a piece, pair of glasses that you can use as a template. If you wear your own glasses, you can um, use those. Or if you have some type of sunglasses laying around, you can use those. And then on the back of the cardboard, what I did is I traced my glasses. And I traced both the side pieces. Make sure you have one going each way separately. Um, I did mine in Sharpie, but that's so that you can see what I'm doing. I recommend you draw it in pencil because, you know, sometimes when you're holding the glasses down, they like to shift. Um, but just draw out the basic template for your glasses. Um, and then after that, I'm going to draw my added details because I want to change it so it's not just um, a plain pair of glasses. I want you to be a little bit artistic on this. Um, I'll show you what I mean here. So on my cardboard, I have designed a little bit extra detail um, other than just the plain um, glasses frames. There's a lot of ways you can go with that. Um, if you're in my 3D art class, I have attached um, a PowerPoint of um, the 3D pen glasses projects I've done in the past to help give you some ideas. I've had a lot of people do lots of cool things. They've made words that came up. Um, I've had students add mustaches and just do a lot of crazy things. Um, so I sent that to you so that you can get some ideas of different things that you can do, but come up with your own. Make sure you change it. Don't just take somebody else's idea. Um, and then after you've done that, draw it on the cardboard like I just showed you. And then you're going to cut the three pieces out, the frames and the side pieces. Cut all of those out. 
So once you've cut out your frames and the inside part right here, it's a little bit tricky to cut out. I use an X-Acto knife for mine. If you have an X-Acto knife and you can use it safely at your house, go ahead. Um, but scissors, you know, you can still poke the hole through. If you're having trouble with that and you don't want to cut out this part and you just want it to be like a decorative glasses, that's fine. Um, but then you're also going to make sure that you cut out those little um, side pieces as well. I'm going to use some masking tape to tape these parts together. Um, you can use any type of tape. If you don't have tape, maybe you can poke a hole and use some string or something to attach it together. And if you don't have any supplies to put them together, I'm not going to be really picky for those of you who have to um, send me your pictures. Just write that in the comment that you didn't have any supplies because I certainly can't get you anything right now. Um, and I'm very understanding about that. Um, I'll try to put the camera down here a little bit. So these are my glasses and I'm just going to take the tape. I'm trying to figure out this camera angle here. And I'm just going to fold that over and tape it. And I'm also going to tape it on the inside as well. So it just stays together. I'm going to do that with the other side as well. Make sure that you put the um, this part at the right side. Don't put it upside down. Done that before. Tape that on the front and tape it on the back. Okay, so once you've done that, your glasses and their frame should be together. Um, and then the next step really is just to decorate it any way you want. Um, my children really liked using paint. If you have paint that covers up the cardboard really well. Um, also Sharpie markers or any kind of marker. Um, I told you I used aluminum foil to wrap mine if you want it to be a little thicker and more sturdy. Or you can wrap it with anything that you want. So any materials you have at home are going to be great. Um, and just decorate it as best you can. If it's just with crayons, that's fine. Um, and then I want you guys to um, take a picture of your work and send it to me if you're in my 3D art class. And um, I'm going to give you extra credit if you actually take the picture of wearing your glasses. How about that? Um, but if not, you can just send it to me without taking your picture. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing some of your finished projects. See you guys later.